Okay, hi there. This video is about the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B. Uh, what kit you'll need, uh, setting it up, connecting it up, and first use. So the first thing we've got is the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B itself. So you can see it here. Um, I've got it in a case. It's a lovely Pi Moroni Coupe case. Other cases are available. So what can you see on it? So you can see the Ethernet port. You can see the four USB ports. Uh, an AV socket, the HDMI, HDMI socket for video. Uh, this is where power goes in. So the memory card slots in under here. This is the GPIO for connecting it up to uh, all lots of lovely electronics. And there's also uh, a ribbon cable connector for display and for the camera. So that's the first thing you'll need, the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B board itself um, and optionally a case, a case just makes it look very nice. And the second thing you'll need, passed to me by my beautiful assistant, is a memory card. So this is a micro SD card, so very small. Um, and this is a special type of SD card that's been prepared as a noobs card. Noobs standing for new out of box setup. Um, you can buy them like this, or you can set them up yourself like this, but, but fundamentally it's about having a micro SD card with a choice of operating system on it. And when I first power it on, we can see how you choose an operating system. So, next piece of kit is a Commodore Garden Ethernet cable, um, used to connect the Raspberry Pi to your Ethernet router, so the Ethernet socket on your DSL router, or whatever method you use to connect to the internet. And next you need a power supply. So this is a good two amp power supply. So not, not a dodgy cheap mobile phone charger, but a good two amp power supply that you need to make sure everything works. And then just for me, because my monitor only has a VGA input and the video output on the Raspberry Pi is HDMI, I've got this special converter that uh, plugs into your HDMI socket on your Raspberry Pi and converts it to a VGA output. If you've got a monitor with a HDMI input or you're using a TV uh, with HDMI input, then just connect it directly from Raspberry Pi to the monitor. And finally, two bits of kit you want are a keyboard and a mouse. So this is a USB keyboard and a USB mouse. So that's all the kit that you need. Um, and next I'll show you how to set it up. Okay, so here we're gonna uh, connect up everything we need to connect up on the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B. Um, so, firstly, I need my memory card. And memory card goes into a slot that's underneath. Um, so, just pop it in. It's spring loaded, so just pop it in, press it in, it clicks, and it's done. And next, I'm going to connect up to my monitor. So, if you had a HDMI socket on your monitor then uh, you wouldn't need to use this but I don't I only have VGA so I'm connecting up this uh, adapter that converts HDMI to VGA. Um, next you need to connect it up to the internet so I've got this ethernet cable the other end is connect to my ADSL router and all I need to do is slot it into the ethernet socket. Um, next I need my mouse so all the mouse does is connect into the USB socket on there. So just pick one of the USB sockets, turn the mouse connector the right way up and plug it in. And then finally, I need my keyboard to do the typing on. So again, that goes into a USB socket. So tidy the cable away, put the USB connector up the right way and plug it in. So. That's everything connected together, so you're good to go. Just put my monitor cable in as well, so that's my monitor connected up. So in the next part, I'll talk about powering up for the first time and preparing it. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about when you first power up the Raspberry Pi using the new out-of-box setup experience. So first thing I need to do is to locate the power socket and plug it in. So it starts powering on. 
So I'm pressing shift here to illustrate the new out of box setup. So we can see it uh, initializing and basically it comes up with a menu that shows you all the different operating systems that are available. The top one being Raspbian, which is the recommended version of Linux for the Raspberry Pi. And there's a bunch of other ones that are available, Pydora, OSMC, RISC OS, etc. Um, I'm gonna go with Raspbian because it's the uh, recommended one. So basically it's selected, I click install. Um, it tells me it's going to overwrite anything already on my SD card, which is what I want. I click yes, and the install process works. Um, this is going to take a couple of minutes, so I won't show you at all. So we're on 0% now, and it's just giving you that initial warning. So it says OS is installed successfully, and then we can click OK to go on to the next part. Okay, so final part, the operating system has installed and I just need to click this button to complete installation. And then the Raspberry Pi is going to start its usual boot up sequence. So we can see all this stuff flashing up on the screen while it uh, sets up stuff, configures stuff, etc. So we shall see it all flashing through. Then eventually, at the end of this sequence, we will see it load up the uh, X Windows environment. So let's just wait for that to happen. Here we go, so blank screen. And then we've got our mouse pointer just come up, so mouse loaded. We've got our lovely Raspberry Pi logo and then our X Windows environment, so our kind of window environment is loaded. So in general terms, look and feel, uh, if you're used to OS X or Windows, it's a similar Windows environment. So uh, you've got your start menu up on the top right, access to a few other icons. So if we go into our start menu, um, let's say Office, uh, there's LibreOffice, which is an equivalent of Microsoft Office, so we can start that up and uh, just wait for it to load. And so our operating system and our storage is all running off of the micro SD card that we showed earlier. Um, so there we go. So we can type, I love Raspberry Pi, and then we can save it. And we can say Raz, Raz Pi 1 and hit save. And there we go. And my editor, my director is telling me to make it big, so I'll maximize it. There we go. So that's all nice and saved. And um, so you've got your office applications, then also you've got a, a browser here, so menu, internet, uh, epiphany web browser. So let's load that up. So just a few seconds for the web browser to load. There we go. Um, let's go to www.raspberrypi.org. PDW Home Internet. <laughs> so that's my uh, first favourite website. So we can see that that loads pretty quickly. Proper web browser, and then my. Uh, Second favourite website, which is PDW Home Automation dot blog spot dot com, which is my own geek dad website. There we go. So just your standard set of uh, web browser access all the websites you might want to access and then under programming so there's a python environment for example so i can do some let's maximize it so print 
I love raspberry pie. In quotes. Do -do -do -do. There we go. And we've got scratch. Start that up. So there we go, we've got our scratch environment, so we could say uh, when I click the flag and we've got uh, looks, say <coughs> I love raspberry pie for Let's make that 10 seconds. So click the flag and the scratch cat says, I love Raspberry Pi. So hopefully you found this tutorial useful. I've shown you uh, all the kit you need, how to connect it up, how to set up the first operating system and uh, loading it up and using your first set of applications. Uh, got any comments about my video? Please put comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.